Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the continuing adventures of Pug as he treks through the dungeon. Where last we left off, Pug had done a really good job clearing out post-vault, but not actually entering the vault, just for the experience and the lull's sake. He now is wearing an amulet of faith, and has 100 and a whopping 183 health, thanks to his 21 fighting training. We're continuing to slow train throwing because I'm realizing that the range proves critical against certain enemies, and the skill will likely remain useful through to the end game. Uh, armor and dodging are both on as well. Armor because I've begun to wear this fire dragon armor, uh, possibly as a bad idea because I'm, I am vulnerable to cold. Possibly I don't care, by which I mean I genuinely don't care because AC is helping so often. Uh, I do need to fix that resist cold weakness as soon as possible. Um, and of course it's all temporary because soon enough I'm going to get a new piece of armor from Okuwaru and it won't matter anymore. Nice assortment of weapons I'm carrying uh, with me. I feel as though my rock supply has been dwindling, but the moment you google it, you see that you've got 3, 5, 7, 10, 12, 15-ish, 16-ish rocks, plenty. And, uh, ooh, I just realized... I don't think I've turned off the alternate language ever since Talk Like a Pirate Day. No, I have not. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that, actually, and I'll do that just like this so y'all can watch me do it. Um, settings, init, control F for language, go away. And you can use notepad for this. Notice that there's languages in all these different, uh, variants of English, uh, like real human languages, and then there's joke translations. Well, it just so happens that Dwarven is basically pirate speak, which is kind of great. So we'll just turn that off. I do hope it's not going to make me restart the game, but it probably is. So we'll just go ahead and start the game up again. Uh, where the hell would I find it? There it is. Sorry for the uh, delay, folks. The intrepid among you will doubtlessly see more than I was intending, but whatever. Alright, that should about do it. And uh, back to Pug. Alright, yeah, commands are normal. Great, great, great. So, uh, yeah, considerations. Firstly, uh, oh, I have multiple ones cold. That will never do. Firstly, train invocations. It's not a must by any stretch of imagination, but given that I'm an Oka follower, it would behoove me to be able to use finesse on a dime. So, at least some invocations training could be useful. Second, uh, disabling fighting. I don't think we'll be doing that. Third, increasing maces and flails. My understanding is that the mo the speed delay on this is... Oh, actually, it's only 180%. So, it'll take less than level 26 to, uh, to max out the speed. Hmm. Maybe there is some wisdom to not focusing maces and flails at the moment. Especially with armor being so important to get up to, to par right now. Alright, so we're just going to run as is. Uh, the question then becomes, where's the next safe place to get experience that isn't going to expose me to cold with regularity? The answer to that would be spider nest. However, that will expose me to poison with regularity, which I can't resist. Uh, shoals, I have no way of really winning against ranged enemies with any consistency, so I would die there. Elven halls will pelt me with cold, it's a guarantee. And vaults, I neither have the AC for nor the resists for. So things could go really badly there as well. So none of them are good options. So the next question is, do I have any poison resistance that I've just ignored? That distortion halberd had resist poison, I could potentially have tried for that. Uh, but otherwise, no. Okay, how am I doing for curing potions? I have a large stack, a very large stack, actually. Still, the spider den is just... Uh, you're going to get poisoned so much. I am feeling lucky. I'm going to enter the shoals and see what happens. Play it by ear, as it were. Um, if we can manage to draw enemies correctly, there's a chance we can make some decent headway. Okay, two enemies. Neither of them terribly frightening. And an enchant armor scroll. Excellent. Let's pull them back, please. Pull any of them back. Sacrifice. There is troll hide in the dungeon. 
I could switch from tr uh, from this armor to troll uh, troll armor, and I would feel a lot happier because there would be none of that resist to cold. Of course, what I really need is for Okuwaru to get off his lazy ass and give me some goddamn armor, but clearly Okuwaru thinks it's funny when his devout worshiper who has brought him uh, so much uh, glory in combat is going around butt naked and unable to really defend himself. Alright, we'll ditch the dragon armor for the moment. God help me if anyone comes and takes it away. Uh, and head back to the shoals, because I am feeling lucky, as I said before. I have teleport control. I don't have a scroll of blinking? Ooh, that's a sh shitty situation. Probably used it to save my life last raid, though. I do remember needing to blink out of trouble once before from a reaper. Uh, sirens are painful. We'll break line of sight and hope she chases me. She does. Excellent. I don't like chasing the after them, but when they chase after me, I can dictate the fight. The thing is, if you walk two places towards them into the unknown, you're setting yourself up for suddenly being pelted by javelins or something and being unable to properly retreat. Usually they don't give you a choice, and then you're forced to use fog to break line of sight or fear or throw stuff at them. You know, I don't know why I'm exploring this. If I find a kraken or Polyphemus, or any real enemy, or any set of merfolk that throw well, I'm fucked. Because unlike my usual characters, like a Minotaur Berserker here, who has the potential to get hundreds more health... Oh, that staircase looks weird. Hundreds more health, and a more offensive capability thanks to Mini Haste. Uh, this guy, the most he can do in a pinch... Shit. She's mesmerizing me. I hope you don't drown. No, it looks like you can't drown from it. Uh, what does this warding allow for? Cause fear? Since I have all the time in the world to switch, I will use the evoked fear instead of using a scroll. Okay, that did not work. Uh, other options. I can use the fog I mentioned before. The thing is, she's one space away, so I can't physically reach her. I don't have enough fog to hut to break line of sight anymore. Well, that leaves the other option, which I didn't want to go to, which was throwing stuff at her. And the only reason I didn't want to use it is because there's a good chance I won't get it back. Here's a, a thought, though. Given that penetration should go past her, it probably will go past her and through the rest of the water and be out on the other side safely so that I can go pick it up. Nope. One of them went through and the others have sunk, so this strategy is failing. We're gonna throw away rocks instead. That was a ridiculous number of large rocks to lose to such a trivial enemy. But I really didn't have a choice because the enemy was only trivial because I could kill her. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm not gonna let her do the same thing to me. I'm gonna fall from a serious distance. And damn it! She managed anyway. I'm not moving any closer. It's up to you. You wanna come at me, you can. I will beat up bats all day. Got wands? Yeah, I got wands. We'll blast you with wands. Come on, you seriously not gonna approach me? You could do this dance forever. If I can paralyze her, maybe she'll stop. She's got good MR. And I'm assuming resistance to cold. Either that or I just have been unable to hit her. Maybe her evade goes up in the water. Yeah, well that's another wand of cold drained. I don't have a blowgun. Apparently in this whole game I never found one. This would be the optimal time to use it too. 
because I could just uh, use poison needles. Lord knows they're disposable enough, and uh, okay. Well, that's thirty poison needles. Clearly, throwing them by hand isn't working. I just. I'm very, very reluctant to give up my remaining rocks, especially since it will most likely not kill her. But I'm beginning to run out of options. I can't just teleport away without burning a teleport. I don't think warding protects me from this effect. Clarity doesn't protect me from this effect. I have a thought. That first javelin I threw went through her. The second did not. Heroism, you don't ever give me allies by any means, do you? And this causes fear. Well, let's spam cause fear until it succeeds. I mean, there's usually a non-zero chance of that happening, right? Okay then, siren nearby, well, what are you going to do about it? The problem is that the longer I take on this floor, the more likely it is to spawn super enemies. I'm going to try one last- WAIT! I saw my answer, I have a potion of levitation. That's the solution. So, giant club. We're flying out out there and we're just going to crack your skull open, you fucking siren. Uh, that was infuriating, and now it's dangerous, actually. But we're gonna get out of here before we die to this th these shenanigans. Poison needles. Needle of any kind. Sure, there's plenty. We're gonna go fill up on poison needles. Next time a siren does this, we need to have our answer ready. Disposable armaments of some kind. Oh. You're the problem. Okay, and next we're gonna grab the blowgun, because apparently they did find one eventually, and I had forgotten how important it was. Or alternatively, I decided it was no longer significantly important. Either way, I was wrong. Disposable armaments. Very important. Alright. Take that blowgun and head straight to the shoals. I love that you identify items that, could, that are meant to be used for throwing. You auto-identify items that are meant to be used for throwing. It's a real convenience. This has burned a lot of piety, that whole round trip I just did. That's just an ordinary merfolk. Come at me, though. Alright. Pile of whatever or potion mimic. Doesn't matter to me. This could be terrifying. Let's see what happens. Kill, but I got red poisoned. Down to yellow poison. I'm just fat enough in terms of the sheer quantity of health I have to tank poison. What is this disturbance I keep seeing? A shark? eat the shark. Uh, they're gonna be after my permafood. I don't know if I can really stop them, so instead we're going to try to hit them before they hit us with something dangerous. Javelins. At the end of the day, if they end up eating all my food, that's not a big deal. But if they end up killing me, well, that's kind of a huge deal. And they are actually coming dangerously close to doing that, so teleport. Fear. I forgot that as an ogre, I can't fight multiple targets at once. I can only fight 1v1. And that fault is my own. So off to the vaults now. Uh, um, injured and ego bruised, but a little wiser that clearly the 
the shoals are just not for me. <sighs> I doubt I can take on a dragon without some advantage. Deflect missiles would be nice. Let's try and take him on. Wow, we just beat the crap out of him. Uh, we need to eat him, unfortunately, because running out of food sources. Everybody else will get sacrificed. Would have been nice to have deflect missiles up right now. Would have been really nice. Uh, yes, Okuwaru, what I really needed were replacement rocks. Thank you. Lord knows I don't have any of those in the dungeon, and couldn't possibly have found them from another source. The last thing I want from you right now is armor. Shouldn't be so glib, but Okuwaru is just such a dick when it comes to giving out good stuff that you want. Oh, crap. Unseen horrors. These things are trivial until, you know, you try to hit them. And then, well, minus five to hit off of a club is pretty miserable. I'm going to stay towards the edge of the board. That way I can potentially dig my way into the sidewall, I guess. I don't know if it's diggable, actually. It's rock. Yeah, it's probably diggable. If I dig my way into the sidewall, I can use that to force invisible creatures to fight me. Ooh! It's important to make sure I have at least one teleportation scroll on hand, and I'd completely forgotten to replace it. I know, I know, these kinds of things seem kind of pointless and repetitive, but the truth is, this little move here is the difference between saying, and I'm out of blah, which is what I need to save my life, and saying, oh, I'm fine, no problem. I'll just teleport. Okay, back to the lair. Or, not the lair, the vaults. So yeah, I definitely want to hang back- Oh, thank god, and a scroll of blinking. And I have preservation cloak? Excellent. So, one of- uh, A couple of teleports, preservation, and close the door, and then open it from the edge. Minimize the number I fight at once. You know, by sheer dint of the fact that there's so few- open spots around me. Wow, look at that. That that was just a wolf spider, and it took 63 health t off of me. I'm gonna retreat. This is a better spot to fight. Okay, sacrifice all. Take the hat, close the door, try the hat out. It's literally just a hat. It's inferior to what I already got. Now, to be fair, everything I'm wearing is god gifts, except for the armor slot, so I guess I shouldn't be such a jerk about what- uh, so ungrateful to Okuwaro. He is not, in fact, being a total dick to me. He's just being a mostly of a dick. Uh, preservation includes resist corrosion, so I'm not as worried about the brown guys just yet. Okay, we'll kill the retreat -er. Sick means I don't regenerate health. Or purple means sick, means I don't regenerate health, so no big, just take care of it. Komodo dragon is edible, and I'm near starving, so we need to eat. Avoid the petrifying stare as much as possible, and then just wait out the sickness. In we go, and literally I managed to use every piece of that uh, Komodo dragon. So, it was the right move to eat it. Griffin zombies are a lot less scary than, har than harpies are. Alright, I think that we are mostly done with this floor. It's lovely that uh, a wolf spider does as much damage to me as a fucking hill orc. Oh, let's back off. One at a time. Vampire mosquitoes are not smart enough to make room for their allies behind them. Alright, that's the floor. If we find a resist poison, we're probably going to switch it up and head towards the spider uh, den for a while. I don't feel as safe here as I would there. Oh, come on. You're free food running away from me. Okay. First floor done. Javelin, javelin. Take down. Next floor. Instantly pull. Sacrifice. Heal up. That much time wasted waited is good to go. Uh... Five clubs to my face could kill me in one turn, so I'm just going to run for it. 
take a different exit. Okay, this is a whole lot worse. I don't think they respond to fear, but if they do, I'm going to try it. It worked. Get them off me. Now, remind me what I ran away from. Ah, uh, fuck me. I'm dead no matter what. Better to teleport upstairs than teleport downstairs. That's literally the logic I'm applying here. Actually, I can outrun these guys, can't I? Because I have swiftness. Yes, I can. Use up curing right now. Okay, I should have realized that I needed to wait uh, for it to wear off. Switch over to rocks and target fire the front guy. Once the mage is dead, their offensive power and options dwindle significantly. How is he able to keep up with me? He has a temporary enchantment of some kind. No longer moving very swiftly. Now the heal is on my foot, and my trollish regeneration will help. Switching to penetration. And... Take down. Switching to blowgun. Since clearly at this point we are opting for a kiting strategy, let us kite with poison. Four poison needles. Two more. And I just saved myself one of my only two teleport scrolls and or my blink scroll by being a little bit bold and a little bit careful. And if thanks to Trollish Leather, I'm almost fully healed up. Oh, look what showed up. Uh, there's more of you problems. We're going to switch over to my club. Make sure that I'm in a nice one-on-one -on -one position. No guarantee that they only come one-on-one, -on -one, but you know, you can try and force it as best as you can. Okay, I just managed to get poisoned. It's not bad at all. Plenty of permafood. Down we go. Pull. This is just a safe spot to fight them. Heal up. Near starving. Meat ration. At this point, I'm still way more interested in getting god gifts from rapid piety gain. There's a side benefit to that, by the way. I will eventually want to stop wearing this amulet in favor of a better amulet. Or rather, any amulet that has a function beyond just giving me piety for gifts. My piety will tend to remain near maxed for most of the game. Oh my god! I just got abyssed. This is about the worst thing that could have happened. We'll see how much worse it gets as I try to survive the abyss. Uh, no real tricks to it. I have swiftness, and I have my offensive potential as a orc, or ogre, so those are going to help a lot. I have no means of levitation. If I stay within range of that uh, guy long enough, he will attempt to teleport me. And I would like that at this point very much. be very lucky if I make it out. Yep, he totally did. be very lucky if I make it out of here without uh, being mutated further. Uh, I'm feeling bold enough to take that thing on, actually. So, a couple rocks to weaken, soften it up. I was wrong. That was way more damage than I was expecting to take. Uh... Glass cannon doesn't begin to do it justice. You have HP and nothing behind it. No, don't walk into a cloud of steam if you can avoid it. Just beat up the fire demon. Thank god for troll leather. It's the only way I'm going to be able to regenerate health with any speed here. Teleport activated? Excellent. Get me away from these assholes. Okay, it's taking a while to kick in, but it is the abyss. It will do that. Okay, I don't have to worry about ice being dangerous to me because I'm not wearing my fire dragon armor. I'm busy getting a hand cramp jerking myself off while I say thank- well, with my own praise and congratulations at my foresight to not run around with that fire dragon armor too long. This kind of shit just always happens when you taunt- tempt fate and are like, oh, well I won't face any resist cold. And they're like, oh, you think you won't resist gold, do you? Well, we will talk like this, and then you will see what happens. 
Alright, we just gotta run between all these guys. There's no way I can fight them all. Okay, unfortunately, it looks like that's exactly what I'm gonna have to do. Okay, the Abyss just morphed to give me a way out. Thank God. Uh, I've just turned on Heroism because I was anticipating a, f a brutal fight, but it didn't materialize. Thing. Again, thank God. There's that brutal fight that I was anticipating. While I still have, you know, a reasonable HP total and Heroism active. Let's take on pieces of that fight. Okay. Off with that. 0 and 22% is fine. Uh, Ice Devil, why not? You're down too. Now we need to hide and heal. If death buses don't count. Okay, that's good job hiding, good job healing. He's not reflecting, but he is also, you know, probably more than capable of damage shaving and kicking my ass. Or not capable of it in the slightest. That works too. Corpse sacrifice, always a pleasure. Take out the giant guy, take out the little guy. You know, I'm actually managing in the abyss pretty well. Uh, barring fiends and shit, I should be okay. Uh, for the time being. But, of course, my bigger concern is getting mutated. And without any means of flight, without... I mean, I have one, two teleport scrolls total. Clearly, this is not the place I want to be. There was an amulet of non-abyssal which gave you a 90% chance to not get abyssed. I would probably wear it every game, but more importantly, it would probably fail for me every game. Okay, I can't possibly lug all these rocks out of here as much as I would love to. I'm going to have to sacrifice some items. Uh, one rock, and... Damn, all these are good items. I guess it's just a matter of eat the bread ration... Oh, right. Not while you're being attacked by a Lemieux. Drop two rocks. And drop... Yeah, I guess... Wow. Drop another rock. <sighs> Note to self. Rocks are not actually as precious as you were thinking they are, Ahmed. If I had been running a different character who wasn't on Okawaru's uh, fun list, it would be different. That's a Tengu zombie. <laughs> it's fun. It goes to show how much of a difference towels make. When zombies look alike, they basically all get treated alike. No, no, let's head away. Come on, man. What are you gonna do to me? What the hell are you gonna do to me? I forgot to take keep track of how long ago I entered the abyss. Probably because I thought I was gonna die. But, uh, it feels like it's been at least a uh, thousand turns at this point, and I'm still alive. Hell, I've gained a lot of experience here. The big concern of getting mutated is literally the only reason that I have to be truly worried right now. Come on, come poison me with your sting tail. Okay, this is bad. This is getting surrounded, uh... By folks that have the ability to really do me harm. I don't see any way out of it either. So... Is this diggable? Yeah, this is diggable. It's rock. Okay, we're gonna dig our way out of this problem. Huh. Still trapped. I see no option but to kill them all. So I will berserk. In a second. 284 health, berserk status, I should be able to just whap my way through all these guys. Unfortunately, that's that's it for berserk. That trick will only work once. But damn, if I had an evocable berserk amulet or something, that'd be fantastic. You know, what if I had an inborn ability thanks to a deity worship of following Trog? Trog ogre with throwing and uh, clubbing? actually probably very viable but at that point you know at that point i'm just playing a standard melee class nothing fancy about it though i guess i got oh fuck i'm taking so much damage all of a sudden 
But I gotta remind myself, my goal was to win with an ogre. I didn't say how. And I've gotta remember to use rocks to soften up my enemies. At this point, I've been only using rocks against enemies I couldn't otherwise touch. Hey, what do you know? Way out. Also, an unused scroll of some kind. A scroll of acquirement, nonetheless. Let's see. Always acquire armor. Uh, pick up a wand. <sighs> I'm gonna regret this. The thing about acquiring armor with Okawaru is he's gonna give it to me sooner or later. The thing about acquiring ammo is Okawaru is gonna give it to me sooner, not later. Gold, I would want something to buy before I bought it, because, you know, I want to know what's going to be worth it. Weapon? What weapon am I going to use more than a giant spike club? So I guess wand wins, but wand is almost certainly going to be something pointless. Okay! It was the wand of hasting, which is, in fact, the opposite of pointless. Oh, come on. If I lost the exit... No, I didn't lose the exit. It's right there. Can't reach it, though. Must go the long way. Or burn a disintegrate charge. Uh, okay, well, that was totally a worth a trip to the abyss. That was just win-win. Thank you very much, Mr. Ogre Mage, for your your help here. In fact, why don't you come outside with me? I'll show you just how much I appreciate you. by clubbing you in the face until you die. Uh, I can take this. Two-on-one, one-on-one. They'll die pretty fast. And that Oka gift is not, in fact, what I was hoping it is was. You know, unless these are cursed clubs... I'm in no real danger for trying all of them out. Uh, do I have a remove curse on hand? I do. Okay, yeah. So let's let's try these clubs out one after the other. <laughs> okay, the last was a cursed one, and that's pretty much it. Whatever. So far, so good. I feel so much safe, uh, safer now knowing that I can handle an average abyss trip keyword being average of course you know the thing about the abyss is the time that kills you is because they send you into a dangerous place against dangerous enemies and of course all of this is for old abyss for new abyss the thing that kills you is the fact that you got sent there as opposed to walked in there on purpose uh, i'm being attacked by something invisible it sucks because i have no way of dealing with it right now it's not my fault either, I didn't do much to set myself up this way. Uh, let's dig my way into the wall. Okay, I think I socked it, because it, it said I felt more experienced. That little trick of digging yourself a narrow passage to deal with them in saved my life many times. And I'm gonna, in fact going to retreat to that passage again, because what we have here is a conga line of killable enemies from the lair. But none of them are, you know, but together, of course, they, they could prove to be a challenge. So, lure them in here with a promise of candy and then beat them over the head like an ogre. Come on, what is that going to be? The best robe it could be is the robe of resist hot and cold. But I won't care because I already have, I, I mean, I don't have those resistances, but I would rather be wearing an AC uh, armor of some kind. Hey, guys. Follow me. I have candy. And there's syrup in my pants. Rocks. Just soften them up on approach, and then just pummel them. Oh, you all take on where you stand. Guy behind you. Excellent. Oh, you're so dead. Sacrifice. Sacrificing everything. So, okay. by the way, that uh, centaur that shot me with three cold arrows, yeah, if he, if I had been wearing fire dragon armor right now, I would be in a lot of pain. Quite frankly, if I'd been wearing fire dragon armor, I don't know how much the AC reduction would have helped overall. Might have helped some, but the vulnerability to cold effect very well would have had killed me by now. But you know what? This is too dangerous to not put this on. So deflect missiles, please, and then club and then just walk right into the fray with deflect missiles on the odds of any of them actually hitting me are fairly low i don't know the exact numbers i want to say it's like 60 percent they're gonna miss or something ridiculous like that i've also gotten a bunch of my blink scrolls back up and by 
back up, I mean, you know, actually gotten some, since I think I only had one this whole time before. Two at the narrow hallway. And we'll just take out everything. You know, sometimes they get lazy and just hit everything without making sure to do it optimally. But with the ogre, oh, perfect. Big pull right here, because they all saw me. They're all going to have to chase me, and that gives me plenty of room to do this stuff. Hurl rocks at my enemies. Now that they're all in a nice line, we'll try with a uh, wand of cold, which will be resisted, actually. Can I do something unresisted? <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Okay, I, I was trying to paralyze the first one. That would give me, like, three straight turns to do this, but whatever. Javelins of penetration. Firing all the way through the entire army. Times one. Times two. Times three. Times four. I don't have any heavy rocks. Silver javelins. Times one. Pummel the guy. And then cure out of rotting immediately. The longer you wait to cure out of rotting, the more health you lose. Permanent health you lose. Sack everything. Wow, I got a lot of Oka Piety for that ghoul corpse. Uh, Ogre Mage just went invisible. Fair enough. Hide. And then just come here. And sure enough, sandwiched it, it predictably sandwiched itself by running at me first. Sacrifice all them ogres. I keep saying orcs when I mean ogres, but you know what I mean. Pummel the Freezing Wraith. Okay. I saw a seven-headed Hydra zombie. The zombies I'm less scared of. I also have swiftness enough that I can probably outrun it. And thanks to even a marginal amount of AC, the amount of damage it can deal is drastically reduced. But for God's sakes, please quiver me my real weapon again. I don't want to be using this random crap that came out of God knows where. Paralytic. That's painful. Uh, strength. Dexterity might be nice, but strength. And thanks to the double strength buff, I probably will never raise strength again because... It's going to be 27, 28, 29 without my doing anything. 27 should be enough to wear gold dragon armor painlessly. And if I could get my hand on some GDA, I would be a set for the rest of the game, basically. In terms of armor, at least. You know, barring Okuwaru giving me something even better somehow. But, you know, GDA is poly resist, which is nice. And the poison resist would help with other branches, which I'm having trouble getting into right now. I'm just really grateful that I found Troll Leather because at least some AC is better than none for the dealing for dealing with all these hits. By the way, that one level up took my health to 210. <laughs> anyway, I think one more floor and then I'm going to call it. I should get going and such. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm having a hard time deciding what's a safe place to go next. And I'm really grateful that the lair seems to be working out so far. Your eye stock will not avail you against my club in your face. It has been an odd game in terms of just how few of the beneficial items I'm used to getting I've gotten. I've thus far gotten very few to no Scrolls of Enchant are a weapon too. I've gotten no means of resist poison, which is... Oh, fuck me. When did he become so big? Close the door. Relax. Give him more than enough time to split all the way down. And, of course, give him just enough time to, s to recombine. Let's see if we can't do something here clever like paralyze him first. No? Well, as long as it's just this, and kill it. It's more like when it becomes titanic levels where it can one-shot my full health ogre that I start to get really scared. Okuwaru, please take a hint. I don't need your fucking rocks anymore. I know that you've been trying to get your rocks off on me for a long time now, but seriously, I don't need that shit pawned off. Thank you very much. Give me your... What I want to get off you is your clothes. That's right, give me your armor. Hold tab, instant kill everything. 
poison javelins are nice. Poison kiting in general is nice. We're going to ditch the ordinary javelins and the silver javelin singular in favor of some of these. We're also going to ditch a generic wand, perhaps polymorph other, though in this version that still works as malmutate, so we're going to drain it first. I swear it never fails. The time that you decide, oh, whatever, I'm just going to drop it, is the time that an ogre comes in from behind you and uses it on you repeatedly. Okay, we're going to drop that. And pick up the poison javelins. Drop, actually eat uh, anything that's generic. Yeah, I have 17 bananas stocked somewhere else. I thought so. That's why I've been so liberal with my food. I know I, I have just a, a metric ton of it left. Beef jerky, drop... What's weighty that I'm not paying attention to? You know, those steel javelins I picked up that are amazing. Might as well get rid of those, because I don't ever use them. Or, or, drop a rock. Problem solved. It's not like I need every rock I have. Yes, the more rocks you have, the more Gatling ammo style you can do with it, but it never really is going to go above 7 or 8. Health leveled up yet again to 23. Uh, at this point, we will turn off uh, fighting altogether. And focus on armor and dodging. The skills that will keep me alive are the most important ones right now. Oh, and invocations, I guess. Yeah, perfect. I don't want to really change invocation, train invocations that much. But I do want finesse to be something I have in my toolkit. 6-1. Yay! And beat the crap out of this hungry statue, apparently. New amulet of unknown type and origin. Let us identify. Amulet of the Gourmand. Uh, that's a nice amulet and all, but I'm not actually going to use it. If I used it, it would be purely because it's convenient and not because it's actually a good or optimal choice. Clearly, I've had no issue with food this whole game. Clearly, I've been eating permafood for much of the game just because it's available and I didn't feel like uh, managing my hunger corpse levels. It was very important there is to make sure that, oh, for the love of God, choose the right target. Make sure that I dealt enough damage that these guys didn't have a chance to merge. Because if they had merged all at once, it would have been a fight. I'll just take on the Etten head-on, throw a rock at it to soften it up. Should have thrown two rocks at it, one rock was too little. Did a lot of damage with just two great maces. Oh, two great maces, because it's an Etten. Yeah, okay, never mind. That was a bold move, and I got lucky that it didn't kill me. Against these guys, you always want to, like, kill them fast. Zapping a wand generally does enough damage to kill them. And it penetrates their summons. I think that's all the boggarts. I'm not so concerned about their summons, so I'm just going to run away. Beat up anything that had the audacity to follow. The other thing about boggarts is they can go invisible. So if you don't kill them quick, the turn you see them, the turn after, and the turn after, there's a damn good chance that there's going to be more of them because they're going to go invisible, and you think that you got them, but you haven't. I'm going to recharge this wand of cold. I know it's kind of a waste of a recharge, but it is also the only tool I have of its kind right now. Darts of flame are not even worth picking up. They're not worth dropping either. They're just not worth considering in any fashion. Next floor. Oh, not yet. Yeah, I've got to remember to not approach, but instead throw rock. That should be my approach move. Okay, that's a floor, and I promised I would stop after this as much as I'm tempted to just keep going, but things are going pretty well. I'm only experienced level 18, which bugs me. I feel like I should be higher at this stage of the game, but what do I know? 
Uh, the good news is S and Ogre, even if I am behind, I'll soon catch up because Ogre's gained that experience pretty quickly. Uh, Finesse is down to 14% fail. Once it hits 10, I'm willing to take my chances on having to cast it twice. Thank you all for watching. I will see you guys next time.